Selena Update, Neon Lights, Vampire Academy, PLL Goes Noir, Divergent Trailer Reactions. Hey you guys, you are back at Clever Feed. I'm Dana Ward and we'll kick it off with today's biggest story. All right, so this one surrounds one of our favorite celebrities out there, Selena Gomez. The star's reps confirmed that she entered a rehab facility in Arizona for two weeks just last month. Even though reports via TMZ state that she had several reasons for the stay, including alcohol, marijuana, and prescription medication use, her team knocked down the rumors, saying that it was not, again, I say not, for substance abuse. Now, if we're putting together the timetable of how everything rolled out, and if you're thinking, how did I miss this? This happened right after the new year on January 5th, just two days after the musician was spotted segueing in California with Justin Bieber. And then after going to Dawn at the Meadows for treatment, SG canceled the Australian leg of her Stars Dance Tour. At the time she said, quote, after many years of putting my work first, I need to spend some time on myself in order to be the best person I can be. And for that, we are sending love and support straight to Selena. We are obviously huge fans of her and we want her to be healthy and happy. For more details on this story, just click the link below. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna go on the record and say I am super stoked for Demi's upcoming Neon Lights tour. And with this recent video preview that the star released, the ante is completely upped. Before I break down the details, here's a quick look. Baby, when they look up at the sky, we'll be shooting stars just passing by. You'll be coming home with me tonight. We'll be burning up like neon lights. So details for hashtag neon lights are available at DemiLovato.com. But a few things to get prepped for. Demi told B96, and me too when I saw her two weeks ago, that she created a mini video for every song performance, likening it to what Beyonce did for her music videos on her new album. And for that, we say, thank you, Demi. Plus, we now know that Nick Jonas is signed on as the creative and musical director for the tour, which kicks off on February 9th. So we are very excited to see the No Stops and Starts show that he says Demi envisioned and that he helped build. Let us know if you're ready for Neon Lights. Okay, okay, don't forget that Vampire Academy hits theaters this weekend. Jocelyn and I saw the movie and we thought it was absolutely hilarious. But one of the movie stars, Sarah Hyland, has a very special message just for you, seen first here on Clever TV. Hi guys, it's Sarah Hyland, and I want to talk to you about Vampire Academy. I play a student at a secret academy dedicated to training guardians who will do whatever it takes to protect humanity from an ancient evil. I heard you were good at taking on two guys <laughs> from the director of Mean Girls, so you know it's got some serious attitude. No one has ever really seen me naked. Girl, no, I, I can't unhear this, right? It's funny, it's cool, and it is full of action. Trust me, you do not want to have to get a nose job in Montana. Vampire Academy, baby. Love it! Also, Zoe Deutsch does a rock star job in the film, so let us know if you're excited to see it. Now it's time to talk PLL. The much anticipated black and white episode is coming up next Tuesday. This F, which is titled Shadow Play, has a 1940s noir feel, apparently because Spencer becomes dependent on pills and she's taken to an altered sense of reality. Here is a clip. The more I see of men, the more I want to get a dog. Too bad there isn't another alternative. Too bad. So he just paid for your cup of coffee? Left a 10 cent tip on a cup of coffee? What a waste. Glad Ari is done with him. Is she? You think she started up with Ezra and didn't tell us? Show of hands. Who hasn't lied about something romantic to the rest of the group? I rest my case. What do we do? Well, you're president of the Man Haters Club. How would you feel about keeping an eye on Ezra Fitz? I was born for the job. Morning, troops. Hey, Gloria. How was Syracuse? Oh, it was fine. Did you have a good time with your dad? Yeah, real good time. Personally, I'm very excited to see this stylized episode of Pretty Little Liars, but what about you? We also hear that Mona slips into Ezra's office during this episode to either leave or take something, 
And what do you guys think that Marlene King meant when she tweeted out that Spencer is a pretty big liar? I want to know. So many things to think about. Just click the link below if you want to get the full story on next week's PLL. And right now on Hit Us Up, we asked you guys what you thought about the brand new Divergent trailer. First, I gotta say, I loved it and I want more. I can't wait for the movie to come out later in March. Okay, so up first, Jordan Frearson said, looks really good. I haven't read the book, but I want to now. OMG, if you haven't read Divergent, seriously, read it this weekend. I'm putting it on your book list. Up next, Miranda Villamore said, OMG, I have goosebumps. I have goosebumps too, just thinking about it. And Michaela Lavaglio said, perfection right here, you guys. Love it. Finally, Forever Charmed 870679 said, looks good, can't wait. I have read the book, so this should be interesting. And one last shout out to Allison Barney, who said, OMG, guys, this is amazing. Hopefully the movie is as true to the books as this trailer seems, LOL. And I agree with you, I love the trailer. Um, I can't wait to see this book be turned to life on the big screen. Shailene and Theo look amazing together and the whole cast just seems like they do a really great portrayal of their characters. Now click the link below if you wanna check out the full trailer, if you missed it or you wanna see it for like the eighth time, or if you want to see a really fun segment where the guys of Emblem 3 put makeup on Jocelyn and me, just click right here. It was a pretty darn fun day shooting with the guys of Emblem 3. And that is it for today's Clever Feed. Make sure you subscribe to Clever TV so you can get all of the latest entertainment news Monday through Friday. I'm Dana Ward and we'll see you guys tomorrow.